Mr. President, as we all know, we're continuing to debate what amounts to repealing the Affordable Care Act without any indication of what is going to replace it, what's actually in the Republican leader's bill. I think this is worth repeating because we're talking about changing one-sixth of the United States economy, impacting every American family, and yet we still have no idea what the bill actually is. But we do know this, a partisan bill to take away health insurance from tens of millions of Americans, written behind closed doors, opposed by every health care stakeholder group and by an overwhelming majority of the American people, should not pass the Senate. As I've said repeatedly, the only constructive way forward is for Democrats and Republicans to come together in a good faith, bipartisan effort to repair and strengthen the current law. Bipartisanship should not be our last resort, as Senator McConnell has suggested. It should be a starting point. It should be the foundation of what we do in this body. This is how the great majority of the American people want us to conduct the Senate's business. This is what I hear from my constituents in New Hampshire. And this is especially true with health care legislation, which affects families all across this country. Make no mistake, every bill proposed by the Republican leadership has been designed as a bullet to the heart of the Affordable Care Act. Republican proposals will collapse the individual marketplaces, make it impossible to provide affordable coverage to people with pre-existing conditions, and take health coverage away from up to 32 million Americans, including the most vulnerable. So I hope that nobody's fooled by this latest partisan measure to roll back the Affordable Care Act and take health coverage away from tens of millions of Americans. And I hope that every senator will, at long last, heed Senator McCain's call for bipartisanship, as we've been hearing at town halls and in countless messages from our constituents. The American people want us to make common sense, bipartisan changes to the current law. We need to work together to build on the strengths of the Affordable Care Act which has dramatically reduced the number of uninsured Americans and has given us valuable tools for fighting the opioid epidemic, which is ravishing so many communities in America. This is the best way forward for both the Senate and our country. Republican leaders have spent the last seven months pushing deeply unpopular bills to repeal the Affordable Care Act, including their effort to dramatically cut Medicaid not just the expansion of Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act, but the Medicaid program that has done so much to protect and provide health care for children across this country, for pregnant women, for those with disabilities, and for older Americans, so many of whom are in nursing homes who would lose that care if we dramatically cut the Medicaid program as the Republican proposals have tried to do. At the recent National Governors Association meeting, Democratic and Republican governors alike urged Congress to reject the Republican leader's health care bill, in particular its harsh and unsustainable cuts to Medicaid. Republican Governor John Kasich was especially forceful in urging members of Congress to work together to find bipartisan solutions. He urged Congress to give first priority to stabilizing the health care marketplaces. We should listen to the governors, but most important, we should listen to our constituents, to the great majority of our constituents who want to preserve what's working in the Affordable Care Act and see us change what is not working. Instead of legislation to take health care away from people, it's time now for an inclusive, bipartisan approach to provide quality, affordable health care for every American. Thank you, and I yield the floor.